Whoever bought this book, I have one thing to say, say to you, I'm sorry. Anybody who considered this scholarship truly, truly, really needs to learn the Islam from the true representatives, the scholars of Islam. However, let us go through this book a little bit and see how much Mr. Fateh really understood Islam he so confidently and smugly, you know, challenges others on. I skimmed through it and first thing I was startled by was his mistranslations. Now, here is a person who's lived in an Arab country for 10 years. You expect better of him. How does he mistranslate, for example, just to give you examples, on page 321 he mistranslates Vilayat e Faqih as the supreme leader. That's not what it means. It's the rule of the jurist. He mis on page 103 he mistranslates Wazara as subordinates. It means ministers. On page 202 he mistranslates as safah as slaughterer. It means bloodshedder. On page 326 he mistranslates Yabdi as O black slave. It means O my slave. On page 156, he mistranslates Futuh al-Buldan, Balazuri's famous book, as the origin of the Islamic State, whereas it means conquest of the nations. And I'd like to ask somebody in the audience, what does munafiqeen mean? Anybody? Hypocrites. I mean, this is something that our children know. Mr. Fateh translates that as apostates. Clearly, Mr. Fateh does not even know the primary language of Islam, that is Arabic. I wonder what dictionary he uses. I propose that we take that dictionary away from him. <laughs> On page 321, he mistranslates Vilayat e Faqih as the supreme leader. That's not what it means. It's the rule of the jurist. He mis On page 103, he mistranslates Wazara as subordinates. It means ministers. On page 202, he mistranslates as safah as slaughterer. It means bloodshedder. On page 326, he mistranslates Yabdi as O black slave. It means O my slave. On page 156, he mistranslates Futuh al-Buldan, Balazuri's famous book, as the origin of the Islamic State, whereas it means conquest of the nations. And I'd like to ask somebody in the audience, what does munafiqeen mean? Anybody? Hypocrites. I mean, this is something that our children know. Mr. Fateh translates that as apostates. Clearly, Mr. Fateh does not even know the primary language of Islam, that is Arabic. I wonder what dictionary he uses. I propose that we take that dictionary away from him. 